All right, ready? And three, two, one, volume. It's too low. Turn it up. Turn it up. On my mental por favor, let me get my music up so I can start. For sharing. If you see a share button, go ahead and share. Go and share the show so we can get on to dealing or dudding. I'm so excited to be back with y'all. I've been gone on a vacation. Hello, Maisha. Thank you, uh, Jar Jaris, Jaris, Jari. Please forgive me. I know I'm chopping your name all in little bitty pieces. 
Please forgive me for saying your name incorrectly. Thank you so much for following. Hi, everyone, everyone, everyone. I am back. I've been on a little vacation. Thank you, Breezy, for sharing. <clears throat> Hi, yo, 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 yo. Um, I went to Florida Keys, y'all. And I'm back. Y'all know I've been on a self-care journey and all of that. So all last week, I didn't do any dealing or dudding. And the packages were stacking up. They were waiting for me when I got back here. So I'm excited to share with you my latest Amazon finds here, right here, with on deal or duds. Hello, Amazon customer that's waving at me. I missed y'all too, Juliet. Y'all know how I like to start the show. It seemed like I had something to say before I got into it tonight. But y'all know I'm, I'm, I'm self-caring. I'm self-loving. Got to get myself together. We just had Valentine's Day last weekend. I showed y'all like all the stuff that I bought for me for Valentine's Day. I got some more stuff because I'm worth it. I'm worth it. Girl, I had a great time. Uh, Miss Johnson, I don't want to mess your, na your name up. Maisha, Maisha, please forgive me if I'm saying it incorrectly. Yes, girl, you don't have to be jealous. Just treat yourself well. It was fantastic. It was beautiful. It was wonderful. The Roosters was walking around the place like they um, they ran the city. One of them tried to chase me. I was looking at his yard. I seen him standing in the front yard, and I was looking at his yard at him and saying, ooh, a rooster. And he started coming on over there like he was saying, you better get from in front of my house. You don't know me like that. What you, what you looking at? I just... Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. He didn't have to tell me twice. Masha, Masha, thank you, Masha. Girl, next time get in my suitcase and come on. All right, so y'all know how I like to start the show. I like to show you the outfit that I am wearing, of course, via Amazon. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start with the sweater. And we're gonna work it on down. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, I ain't did this in a long time. Hold on, hold on. Cut the music, cut the music, cut the music. Cut the music, cut the music. I forgot all about Invisible Boo Jank, y'all. How could I do that? Y'all see Invisible Boo Jank? He has been waiting so patiently for me to do another deal or dud so he could take me out on a date, you know, on every deal or dud night. My Invisible Boo Jank, he takes me out on a date. So what you get to do is decide where we are going based upon the outfit that I have on. I'm sorry, boo. I, for, yeah, I You know I've been out of town. I've been out of town. I know. I know. I know you had everything waiting for me when I got back. I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot. Hopefully he'll forgive me. I forgot. All right. But you get to decide where Invisible Boo Jank. He's still handsome. You still love me? He said yes. I love you too. Please forgive me. You forgive me? He said yes. Thank you, boo. All right. You get to decide where I'm going on my invisible boo jank date per the outfit that I have on. Okay, cue music. Let me back up so y'all can see the shoes. Let me get right here. I don't know if you can see the shoes from right here. Let me, let me turn my volume up. Hold on, y'all. Of, I don't know what you call this stitching right here. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Ella. Ella Reese. I don't know what you call this um, this particular knit pattern right here, but you see the sleeve is a little bit rolled there. It's rolled at the neck. 
y'all I love this sweater right here let me back it up so you can see it again yes love the sweater it is the Hill Teach You women's casual sweater it comes in a number of sizes and it comes in about five colors it comes in white black army green pink and another color that I don't even remember wine red wine okay so I have ordered more of these I got this one in when I returned yesterday can you pause for me um when I returned yesterday this was one of the things that was waiting for me and I tried it on and I just love it I immediately went and got the other colors that they had available in my size because the price y'all the price you can't beat the price on so this one it is in the carousel if you look in the carousel you'll see the price go ahead and pick you up a few of the look look at the sleeve look at the sleeve can y'all see my watch no you cannot because it passes the sleeve test yes so it has appropriate sleeve length for me I am loving it, loving it, loving it. I did see on um, where some people were commenting about um, the sleeve lengths was a little bit off for them, but I'm about five, seven and a half. My arms are long. This does it for me. I am well pleased with the sleeves, with the comfort, with the style of it, with the pattern of it. Yes, this right here is a deal. This is a deal for me. Now, let me show you the jeans. I'm just going to back up just a little bit. Um, let me angle the camera down just a bit. These are the women's distressed denim jeans. I just look, think it looks so perfect with this sweater combination. The sweater and the jeans. The sweater is very casual and the jeans go with it. I'm just enjoying seeing myself in the camera, y'all. Hold on, turn my music back on. Can you give me my music back? Yes, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Where are we going? Where are we going? Here's Gabe. Where, where y'all sending me and Gabe tonight? Where are we going? All right, you can cut the music. Yes. I love the jeans. They are a good fit. They do have some stretch in them. So, you know, they're fitted to my body, but not like a legging kind of fit. Just a, a nice stretch, a nice fitted fit, uh, a nice stretchy fit. You see me closing them up just a little bit. Yeah, they have a little tiny, tiny bit of slide, but I'm, I'm fine with it. Okay, the shoe that I'm wearing tonight is the... Uh, Converse style. This is not a Converse. This shoe is actually by J Adore, Jen Adore, Jen Adore, Jen Ardor. But it's the Converse style. As you know, this is very popular. It comes in a number of colors and um, even some prints. So I have these in white. I also have them in black. I don't have any printed ones, but they're very comfortable. They are very flat. So if you are a person that, you know, maybe doesn't like your shoe to fit so flat i feel like we a little bit crooked tonight there you go all right if you don't like that flat feeling maybe um an insole or something would be helpful to you it does feel not super flat but just a little bit um, it? go get ice cream go get ice cream me and yeah this is a nice little ice cream get up for me and, and gabe 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 you feel my ice cream i i would look really like some pecan praline or some butter pecan ice cream right now Ice cream would be a great choice for us. Give me your arm, Gabe. Give me your arm. I know. I missed you too. I did. I know I didn't call you every day, but I don't mean I didn't miss you. I was happy. We gonna, me and Gabe, we're going to talk about that later. Okay, now is not the time. My earring is hitting my little speaker. Okay, so these are the shoes, the Converse style, the white sweater. I do have the jeans cuffed tonight. Hold on, y'all. Let me show you what they look like all the way down. All the way down, they do come down to your ankle. So maybe if you don't like the cuff look, but you like the all the way down look, here is the jean all the way to the ankle, all right? With this particular shoe and this outfit, I would wear it cuffed. And y'all, look what else was waiting for me when I returned. Y'all. <gasps> 
my Coach Dempsey tote bag. Yes, I love the color choice of this bag. It does come in a couple of colors. I love this turquoise and a little bit of army green stripe down here, a kind of bluish gray here, bluish gray uh, trim on the inside. Here is the inside of the bag, that white tag that matches the white. Uh, oh, my light is, is so bright. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me make sure you can see what I'm trying to show you. All right, the little white tag right there. Mm -hmm. I am loving, loving, loving it. Yes. Yes, this outfit gets all A pluses for me. Yes, very casual and cute. That's how I'm feeling, Juliet. I'm feeling very casual and cute. Someone said the jeans true to size. These jeans are true to size. Well, this is a size large, so it's not a number size. It is a letter size. I wear about an 11 and a half, I always like to say. I'm not ready to embrace the full 12, so I'm just going to say 11 and a half. And they are a good fit for me. Again, I'm about 5'7 seven and a half. Um, size large is where it is for me. So, yes, you see me wiggling still a little bit. I don't have a belt on, but I'm fine with it. Okay? Yes, I am loving it. And I really, really, really love my new purse. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. Why I'm running backwards? Oh, no. Come on, it's raining. My hair, ugh, my hair getting wet. Speaking of hair, I'm going to tell you my new hair product find when I get to that. So this is also in the carousel. Again, another color that it comes in, it is um, a burgundy and orange. I think the, the, the patch here is an orange color. It is beautiful. But I went with this one, well, you know, all things in good, good time. I might go back and get that that orange thing, what's coming up? What's coming up for me to celebrate myself tomorrow? That's a perfect opportunity for me to celebrate myself. But I am loving the bag. It has a snap closure here. It has uh, the two pockets internally, one pocket on each panel. It is, uh, as you can see by comparison to my body, how long it is. This is a deal for me, yes. All right, moving on. I just want to put this on my arm. I just want to put it on my arm for the whole show. All right, moving on. Can I turn my light back up? Is this good lighting for y'all? Okay. Also, I want to show you again the glasses. These are the glasses that I had on when I started the show today. I do love these frames. They are the Vugmi Cat Eye Clear glasses. Y'all know I'll start posing in a minute. I'll start posing in a minute. I'm sorry that this is hitting my, my thing. I'll talk about the earrings later on down the road. All right. The Vugmi cat eye frames. I think it completes my look. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. What y'all think? No comments? Y'all not going to tell me how beautiful I am and how beautiful I look and and I look amazing and all of that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I need them compliments. All right, so these are the Vugmi. Vugmi has several pairs of frames. I think that these have become my favorite because of the crystal clear frame. So they kind of blend in and match with everything. Um, they are oversized, as you can see. Oversized is usually not my thing, but I just love these frames so much. I probably will eventually put some medicine in them. Right now, they are just for fashion for me. If I really need to go somewhere and see where I'm going, I will put on my, my other frames. But um, I'm going to have to put the prescription in these and go ahead and sport them. Yes. All right. And as you can see, it has the gold wire trim here. It is a very thin frame and it is very light again it is in the carousel if you like this particular frame or maybe you just want to see some other uh Vugmi frames if you click on the in the carousel and just click on their their store their store link that's in the posting you can see some other very unique styles that they have i'll show you the ones that i have now these are the ones that i really want to wear for you tonight but i couldn't find them on amazon anymore I could, oops, drop this stuff 
these are the ones that I really want to show you because I think they go with my outfit better. Can I get my music back right quick? Mm -hmm. Now, I couldn't find them anymore to include them in the, in the carousel. This matte lipstick is by The Lip Bar. It is in the carousel, WDB. It is in the carousel. I really love these friends. Oh, I gotta do my whole walk all over again, y'all. Hold on. So with the purse, with the purse, y'all see how this, that little teal color right in there, match my little fingernails, the brown in it, the brown in the purse. I was not able to find these from hey Doris I was not able to find these frames for you uh, um, to put them in the carousel but I do have some other Vuk me frames as I just showed you the cat eye one I'm trying to keep the ring light out of your face the cat eye the clear cat eye which I really do love these I wouldn't wear as much because you know of the color combination so it has to match the rest of my outfit but again if you want to click in the carousel and um, click on the little, the little link that shows you their other products, you may perhaps find something that you like, like these. Y'all take my picture, take my picture, hold on. Take my picture, post it in the comments. All that, okay, I'm here for it. I am here for it. Moving on to my next product, let me put these glasses up before they fall and then, you know, I'll be like stepped on them. <sighs> then I have to place another Amazon order, which y'all know I don't have any problem doing that. All right, my next product, Lip Action. This is Lip Bar. This color is called Crown Me. I did leave a Lip Bar product in the carousel so that you can connect with their other products that are here on Amazon. Um, and pick the color that you like. This is a matte, um, a matte color. This is my favorite of their products. I have this color and then I have two red ones, Hot Mama and Boss Lady, B-A-W-S-E, Boss Lady. They are, the colors are very brilliant. As you can see, y'all see all them kiss marks on gay? All them purple, y'all see it? Show me your neck, babe, because y'all know he tall. Y'all see it on his neck? this matte color and really it doesn't it 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 um what do you call it not shit that's not the word it rubs off a little bit not a whole whole lot okay a little bit so it does stay in place and the link is in the carousel all right my next item that i want to share with you as i just shared with you you know i just came back from key west had a great time you know when you're traveling and all of that you want to be able to charge your devices and I didn't want to always be digging in my bag and in my purse and all that looking for my charging cord and this and that and the third and all of that so I picked up this for myself y'all this right here thank you Doris this is actually a phone charging cord the Wispun charging bracelet and you can see that it is a braided leather but this part actually is a phone charger so i'm gonna show you how it works although you know i know you have enough uh brilliance to already recognize but i do like the way that it looks on my wrist you would never think that it was a phone charger but you pull it apart i have an iphone apple product so you see the apple um charging head is there and this plugs into your usb um port so let me get a brick here so you take this in here and you plug it into your for instance, like that, bam. And then you take this other one, may I see the iPad? For instance, here is my iPad. I'm recording on my phone tonight, so I can't show you on my phone. And you take it and you plug it right there. So, boom, 
You got a phone charger. It's nice and short, so it was perfect for the drive. It's not all long and in the way and all of that. It charged my device nicely, my phone, um, as I was in the car. It charged it very nicely. That's right, I said in the car. We drove, I drove there. Me and my friend, we drove. We didn't get on an airplane. It is COVID, you gotta be careful. But the drive was okay. And then once I finished um, charging my device, I was able to just slide it on back together hold on slide it on back together like that and it was right around my wrist didn't have to look for my phone cord and it does come with a adapter piece if you don't have an apple product but you have an android that you can snap it right on to the top of there and go ahead and charge your device and have your um, charging cord just like that when you leave um, out of the house or what have you. you don't want to carry a bunch of things but you know that you're going to need a charging cord you're going to be in your car you already got the little car charger thing in the car boom now you're fashionable and ready Mm-hmm. yes you, you have to be careful you can't get on all kind of public transportation these days with COVID out here roaming the streets. Okay, so along with that, y'all, along with the cord, here is the other item that I want to share with you because the price is so good on this product right now. And that is this Duracell rechargeable um, bank charger. So with my bracelet and this, I was good. I was good to go and you know sometimes if you have too many devices in the car you only have that one little plug-in uh, to go in your lighter thing to charge this has two of them it was myself and my girlfriend that had gone she needed her phone to stay plugged up so we could know where we was going but I was still able to charge my device charge her device all of that again with with this with my bracelet I just plugged it right on into there just like that and plugged it to my phone plugged her device right there and then this this port right here this is where you would charge this actual device and it does have a cord un momento un momento i had the cord right here right nice and handy for you it comes with this cord with the duracell label duracell brand i don't know if you can see that it's marked on there and you plug it in right there boom like that boom it has a standard usb port so we ended up plugging this into the car plugging my phone into one port and plugging her phone into the other port so we were able to have our all of our devices charging as we needed to this has a little button on it right there like right now it's off but you push the little button you see the lights pop on so it'll tell you if it has any charging power left and it charges fairly quickly okay not like a 12 hour um charge or anything like that this right here i highly recommend i love this it's small enough to fit in the purse boom boom just like that it's in the bag along with the cord wrap the cord up i hope i'm not freezing i'm seeing i have a poor internet connection can y'all tell me if the show is is playing for y'all like it should be i don't know what's going on with my internet connection time to change vendors all right so it fits in there and it does a great job charging your devices all right i think i charged it one time for the trip that has been over a week ago it still has battery life in it um, of course we didn't have to use it every day but it did the job and it does the job well okay my next product thank you doris thank you amazon customer okay so my next product that i want to share with you y'all know i have shared with you before this right here this right here y'all Ooh, my skin is my skin and my scalp is just very very dry thank you angel girl hopefully it's, it's running fine now thank you Shonda so I have been on the lookout for products that will really work with my hair and my scalp to not make my scalp so dry I mean it is is my scalp is just so very dry so I have been checking out moisturizer products i found a new one that i like better than the product that i was using and that is the thank goodness it's natural buttercream daily moisturizer yes 
I, 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 I like this product better than the other one because it tends to, it feels more moisturizing to me. So the TGIN is Thank God is Natural. This is the Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. It does have some other products as well. Um, I know there's like a twist cream. Ain't no need of me getting a twist cream. Y'all see? Y'all see? Ain't no need of me getting a tw the twist cream. When I was in Key West, it was a little girl sitting in the booth. She was offering to braid people hair. And I was like, can you catch this? She was looking at me like I was crazy. I was just playing with the girl. But I don't need the twist cream, but I do need a moisturizer, okay? The directions use daily or every other day as needed. Apply a small amount to hands and rub together and work through the hair. Can also be used as a setting cream to create soft, smooth, and shiny two-strand twists and twist downs. I don't think I'm gonna get a twist out out of this. It, it, it might work. But I don't think I'ma get a two strand twist. Hold on, hold on. It's not gonna that's not gonna work for me. However, I have been using this just for a couple days because I just got it. <clears throat> got it right before I left. I wanted to test it. So while we were in um Florida, I did put this product on my hair and I liked it. Like I could just I can just feel a difference, number one. When my scalp is super dry, it feels super dry. And with this, it feels very moisturized. It's not too greasy, um, but it feels like I have something in my hair. So right now, I'm a, I'm a fan of this. I might go back to what I was using. What I was using was not bad, but I like this better. So I wanted to share it with you. But thank God it's natural. If you're a natural um, hair wearer, it has uh, shea butter and vitamin E. I don't know that um, it doesn't have anything up here like if you have um, chemically treated hair or straight hair or, or not not straight, chemically treated or what's the other thing? Um, natural? No, I mean it's for natural. I forgot the other word that I'm looking for. I don't know, but y'all know. Okay, but this is for natural, natural girls like myself. Mm-hmm. Yes, I don't know why my, my thing is, is freezing tonight. All right, so that is that product. Let me move on to my next product that I received. And I got this last night when I got back home. And I was excited about it. And that is this bamboo charging station. Okay? I thought that this would be a really good item for my desk because I have so many products that I have to charge, um, including my watch. I do have a, another watch charger that I showed on, a other, on another episode, but it did come with the watch charger stand and then these four ports for you to put your devices, such as my iPad. So you just kind of sit it, sit it up there like that. And then, you know, any phones or anything else that I want to place in here. Okay, here's another phone. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. The two in the back are a little bit wider. These two slots right here where the iPad and where this one is, they're a little bit wider than these two in the front. So these are for more narrow devices. And I do have an OtterBox case on my, um, on my iPad. Okay. And I have an OtterBox case for my phone. This one has a smaller, a more trim, um, more trim case on it, but it fits in these two slots here. Okay, so this is the bamboo charging station. Now, when I pulled it out of the packaging, this part wasn't, this part right here comes off. It was separate from it in the packaging. So I took the plastic off of it and I went to sit it up here. Y'all listen. Y'all hear that? Y'all see how much I'm trying to have in the pool? So I wasn't prepared for that. So when I put it on here last night, like the magnetic power is so strong. I wasn't expecting it. My finger got snapped up in it and it was not a pleasant feeling. It was that, that pinch that you can imagine getting your finger caught up in that right there, okay? So as you can see, it has the port for the watch charger. And let me just put my watch charger in there. Thank you. Let me put my watch charger. So you press it on in there like that, of course. 
and feed the cord through and feed it through the back end like that and then you snap it on to the base like that mm -hmm. and then of course your devices your other plug-in devices you have all, four of them three of them right here so one for my ipad one for my phone one for my duracell device or whatever i'm going to charge and then you see here it has the outlet plug uh, I had it plugged up earlier. No momento, let me get it off the desk. It came with this outlet plug charger. You plug it right in here, boom, and you plug it into the wall, and then it charges your devices. Now, I do like it in terms of theory, but there are some things that I don't like about it. What I don't like about it is again you plug this part to the wall and you sit it on the desk your phone charger here's my um my apple watch charger hold on here's my apple watch charger hanging off of it that i'm supposed to plug right there i suppose Take it a cord here is my um phone charger that i'm supposed to plug in right there mm -hmm. here is the cord and here is my ipod i mean uh ipad charger and here is the cord so what i'm what am i supposed to do got an extra cord hold on it's tangled up in there Can grab that thank you what i'm supposed to do with all of this this is sitting on the desk this is plugged into the wall my devices, I'm able to plug them in and sit them over here on the side. On Momento, let me grab my iPad. So we can get a good visual of what this is going to be looking like. I, I think they should have did a little bit more design work. Hold on, I'm plugging it up. Don't go nowhere. Stay right there. Stay right there. Can you use it in the bathtub? I wouldn't be using it in the bathtub for it to make a mistake and fall in the water. And then I'd be, uh, I have electrocuted myself. I would not make that recommendation, but you can do whatever you want to do because you grown, you grown, you do whatever you want to do. All right, so here is, thank you very much. Here is the, here's the situation. Idiocy, nonsense, violence, not a good policy. Let me put the watch up there. So there's the Apple Watch charging. Here's the iPad charging. Here's the phone charging. And here's the cord. Here are the cords just everywhere. This is just everywhere to me. The cords are just everywhere to me. Like, I feel like I need short cords all of a sudden. Now, if I had a series of short cords, which I probably do, if you have some series of short cords, it, it won't look like this. But in the meantime, this... What? Okay, this make this this part is neat. This part is neat. If you're not looking at the cores, don't it look nice? Doesn't it look nice how it's sitting up there and everything is all neat and organized until you get to this part right here. This is the part that would get on my nerves. Now I do have a couple of short cores, for instance. Oop, oop. One more stuff falling down. All right. So here is my short cord, and this one. Um, I don't know what this goes to, but if my cords were short, if I had short app cords, I think I only have one, one short one, then it makes a little more sense to me because I don't have cords everywhere. This, this cord, this size cord is ideal. This size cord would be, excuse me, y'all, would be ideal. So get some short cords if you're going to pick this up or maybe you have another solution for how to manage the four cords that are hanging off of here. I did get a, a watch charger that's very different than this, and this will probably, it will probably suit this fine. But in the meantime, all of those long cords, that would make it not, that makes it not so pleasant for me. I do love it in concept. I am able to sit this on my desk and put my devices on it. However, the cord situation would be an entanglement unless I had short cords for all of my devices and they could just go right there right there right there right there 
I feel better about it okay so that is my assessment on this one maybe you, you like the concept and you can find one that does something different with the cords as for me I'm a little bit disappointed because I feel like they should have um, the company should have maybe thought that through maybe if they had like a little box or something that was back here that held all the cords or the cords kind of ran under you see there's no tracking underneath there like it was with this if they had some kind of tracking that was under there that you could you know something something with the cords do that make sense to y'all go and put something in the comments so i know that y'all still watch it all right so that is that i'm going to keep it i'm not going to send it back but i have to um just think through how I'm going to manage the cord situation. The cord that goes into the wall is pretty long. I don't know how many feet this is. Maybe three feet, a three foot cord. So that's pretty long. Um, so it's not a total dud for me. It's just, it's not as good as I wanted it to be. All right. Moving on. Thank you, Doris. It's a Moving. Yeah, it's a dang. It's not a, a, a total deal. It's not a total dud. It's just a... Dang, what a, I'm, 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 I'm mildly disappointed with that. All right, next, y'all, I got in these mason jars, right? And so it's a set of eight of them. Let me pull them down for you. They're sitting right here on the shelf, ready to share with you. Now, why am I excited about mason jars? I'm not really a country girl like that. But I did want to get some of these because of how they are made to preserve items. Yeah, the cores are just all in the way, Juliet. So I bought this set of eight mason jars for a couple of reasons. As you can see, it is just a regular canned lid, an eight ounce uh, glass jar. These are glass. Um, and I grabbed these because number one, I want to start making my own, not for other people, but my own um, shea butter, oh, moist body. body butters. Thank you. My own body butters, that kind of thing. And <clears throat> I need something to keep them in. And so when I saw these, I was like, oh, these would be perfect. It's the perfect size. I didn't want the super tall ones and all of that. I just wanted a little something. So when I, you know, make some whipped, whipped shea butter with the coconut oil and the cocoa butter and melt them all together and put them in there and blend it and all of that to make a whipped butter i have something to keep it in instead of a bowl from my kitchen which i have made some for myself before you know just kind of experimenting you see a little recipe on pinterest or tiktok or wherever and you want to kind of play with it and so you know i would have stuff from my kitchen then I'm blending it in, then I don't have a top to put on it, then where am I gonna keep it? So I grabbed these when I saw them so I can make my own products, again, for me, because I like to do those kind of things, do that kind of thing. So this is a good size for me. I like to make my own salt scrubs, take some Epsom salt. This is just a quick uh, recipe for y'all. Take some Epsom salt and some baby oil and then a couple of drops of an essential oil and put it in there and make your y'all know i love salt scrubs salt and sugar scrubs and you have your own scrub and then like i said when i made them in the past i got to find an appropriate container to put it in or use a container from something else that's now empty like a Talenti ice cream a Talenti ice cream jar or something like that but now i got something that i could actually put it in other than the Talenti Y'all not supposed to know that I eat Talenti from time to time, but I do. It's delicious. I wish they sold it on Amazon for a little bit less than they sell it in the grocery store and they could get it to me without it being all melted. Mm-hmm. Talenti. Anyway, back, back, come back, come back, come back. Refocus. We're talking about this. The other reason why I grabbed this is because, as you know, I like to make my own juices. I like to juice when I feel like it. I'm not as consistent with it like I'm supposed to be, but I like to juice. If you're going to dirty up the juicer, you got to get out the cutting board and the knives and be chopping carrots and celery and cucumbers and chopping apples in half and cutting up oranges and lemons and that kind of thing. You know, you might want to make more than just that one serving. And so this set of eight, eight ounce glasses allows me to make the juice that I want to make 
and put the top on them and put them on in the refrigerator. So if you have any other kind of canning products or you know, you're know you into stuff like that, here you go. Here you go. Now, I think that when I got these, I think they were on sale. But sometimes y'all take too long. You go to get the deal and the deal be gone. Okay, but there are several others that are like it that I'm sure you can find again. And you can just click in the carousel and find the ones that are fitting for you. Now, this did come with some labels two four six eight ten twelve labels it's eight jars but twelve labels and this little pen right here i don't know if this is a chalk pen or if it's a marker i don't know what kind of pen it is let me just open it up and try it on one of the labels if i was doing something that was going to be a little more um with a little more longevity i would probably use these and label the jars and all of that but I'm not that, maybe we'll, we'll see what happens, especially if I'm making juices, let's see. So it's a, a black sticker, and let's see what color the pen is. Oh, momento, oh, momento, let me write something. It's kind of like a, a white kind of magic marker, kind of. It needs to dry just a little bit. I don't know if this is a chalk pen. It doesn't say in the packaging. I don't drop the top. I'm going to have to find it. This is the tip of it. So it's a kind of um, felt tip. So you can label your things. So you don't get the beet juice mixed up with the pomegranate cranberry juice. You know what you're drinking. It dries fairly quickly. Don't know if it washes off or not. But we'll see. We will see um, as I begin to label things. I'm such a good assistant. She down here looking for the top and everything. All right, here's a little top. Yeah, so that right there is a deal for me. I am going to put these to good use when I um, make me some juice. I'm going to make me some juice tomorrow. Matter of fact, I'm already ready already because I got my little jars. And then I might go ahead and make me some kind of salt or sugar scrub. Y'all got any good recipes for that? I need a recipe for whipped body butter, please. If you got a good recipe for whipped body butter, please go on and put it in the comments so I can see it later and I can make something for my skin. Y'all know what? Since I came back from Florida, I, I realized in Florida that the moisture there is so wonderful. I guess the humidity in the air, and it's humid here where I live too, but the humidity in the air was making me feel like super hydrated. And I'm just... Uh, if they have so many alligators and crocodiles, which I did not see a single one, but I know they exist there. And if they did not have so many terrible hurricanes, y'all know when hurricanes come through, they hit over there first. And if they didn't have so many lizards running across the street, and if they did not have the rooster that tried to chase me away from his property, like, <laughs> what is you looking at? You've never seen a rooster before. Can I help you with something over here? All right, hold, stay right there. I'm coming. And y'all, when I tell you that rooster was looking at me and he start coming slow and then he start walking fast, he was finna deal with me. I had to mm -mm, I had to get on out his way. If they have all of that going on, I might consider going there just for the hydration of the skin. But if y'all have any good recipes like a whipped body butter, some kind of sugar scrub, salt scrub, something like that. Go ahead and share it with me, even a juice recipe. Go ahead and share it with me so I can fill my little jars up and, and enjoy that. And then, y'all, down there in Key West, me and my friend, you know, we walk in a little strip or whatever. We get to this house. It's the oldest house in Key West. And I was like, oh, I want to go see that. You know, you want to see some historical that I wanted to see some historical things while I was there. So I go in the little house and all that. Keep in mind, I just almost got chased down the street by a rooster. He was looking like, I am not playing with you. Get from in front of my house. Go on down the street. Then I get to this house and I'm like, oh, I want to I wanna see this house. You know, first house in Key West, you had to pay a little ticket price to get in there and get in the house. And the lady is taking us on a tour and she starts talking about pictures in the room. And then she makes the comment, this is the most haunted house on the island. Why y'all just, why y'all just, why y'all don't have it on the sign outside the most haunted house on the island? Instead, you got the oldest house on the island. Now you telling me I'm standing in the middle of a haunted house? Why you ain't telling me that before I paid my ticket price? 
Now I'm finna have a whole church service up in here. Something get to popping off. We 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 get ready to have church right up in this old haunted house. Y'all need to tell people that from the gate. Let me make a decision whether I want to walk my feet in there. Or you talk about people, the, the, the ghost be knocking over curtains and rocking a chair. And, you know, the, the, she said, she's not going to hurt you. Uh, yes, I do know that. I'm sure of that. However, it would be helpful if you would tell the people that's visiting at the gate listen before you come up in here let me let's just, just why well, she didn't tell me that y'all but i'm all right i'm good i'm good see this why i'm not gonna have church i'm not gonna have amazon church today i'm just gonna say see this why this why all right i'm gonna move on i'm gonna move on she should have went on and told me that up front all right so next y'all talking about the face and the makeup so i do i'm not really a big makeup wearer i have said that several times i do put it on you know to do deal or done to show y'all some some products and some of the things that you know what i am doing y'all know i've been trying to take my own makeup lessons and all of that getting stuff from the lip bar and this and that and the third and so one of the things that i really don't like is at the end of the day when the live is over and i have to wash this off of my face i don't like that i mean i do want to wash my face but the whole process now my washcloth got all kind of lipstick and purples and reds and browns and caramels and glitter and lash sticky stuff all of that is on the washcloth and all of that so y'all i found this product it's the clean skin club cleansing towels <laughs> look at this y'all the clean skin club clean towels i got the extra large size that's gonna help me feel better about when i have to wash my face i was so excited to get these i did open up another box but this one still has the plastic on it because i bought more than one and let me just open them up for you hold on gotta break the plastic the box comes wrapped up in plastic and it says about clean towels clean skin club clean towels are 100 percent bio the bio degradable they're ultra soft and ensure the cleanest ending to your skincare routine each towel has a textured side and a smooth side the clean towels are gentle on your skin but are durable enough for any use guaranteed not to tear or shed and they are just as strong when wet like all of that is a plus is for me i'm, I'm here for all of that okay they will wipe away dead skin excess oil and makeup with ease when finished toss them in the trash yes and recycling or or toss them in the trash recycle or even compost them all right so i, I already like this product i opened it up last night when i got here when i got home and checked it out washed my face and i do like it thus far on this side it says keeping it clean how would you feel if we told you the towels in your bathroom are bacteria breeding grounds i agree even the one you washed with yesterday yep that's right Ooh. due to the environment it hangs out in your bathroom the towel you use to dry your face can harbor millions of bacteria including e coli if that's not enough to make you cringe consider clean towels your new best friend if that is enough to make you cr cringe Consider clean towels your new best friend. We all know nothing is 100% germ free, but we created something to make sure you're complete. To we make to make sure you complete your skincare routine in the cleanest way possible. It's cleaner than your towel or your washcloth. Some of us call them wash rags. I don't like that. I don't. I don't like the term wash rag. I I use a washcloth at my house. We use washcloths. We don't use wash rags. A rag is something you clean the car with. My, my skin don't deserve to be cleaned with a rag. Okay, I'm off that soapbox now. And it's softer than your towel. And so, let me just open it up for you right here. It has this little, um, I guess, kind of pop-up, pop-up uh, situation. Hold on. So the box opens like this on the bottom. Un momento, un momento. Calm down, I'm coming back. 
The box opens on the bottom like that. You can see the towels there and you just kind of pull them out and then you're able to close the box up like that. The box is closed. All right, so here is the size of the towel. I think it's a great size for washing your face. Now this one is said it's extra large. This is a little bit bigger than a washcloth, but it's not like a, um, a hand towelette, right? I wouldn't really consider this to be extra large, but it's large enough to get the job done. It is textured on this side and it's a bit smoother on this side if you can see the difference between the two sides, okay? So this is what I am going to begin using um on a consistent basis and i love the fact that i can just throw it away when i am done so this is the clean club it's clean towels extra large it is pretty soft it's 100 percent biodegradable of course it's in the carousel it has reviews on it you can take a look at those reviews and additionally i had i don't know what i was what i clicked on but i ended up buying like 12 boxes I don't know what I was doing. Was I asleep when I ordered these products? I don't know, but here's something else that came with it. Here's something else that came with it. I won't be using this part of it. Like, no. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me find it. It came with these little mounting stickers. And the instructions said that you could stick them. You can stick these to your mirror. So you put the mounting, uh, you put the mounting tabs on the back of the box. Mirror mounting instructions. That's what that says. Mirror mounting instructions. Clean the mirror or flat surface such as a cabinet or door. Let it dry. Remove film from the mounting pads. Be careful not to remove the entire pad. Firmly press the box onto the mounting surface for 10 or 15 seconds and enjoy a whole new level of clean. I don't feel like I need to mount this anywhere. If I was going to mount it, I do have a little shelf in my bathroom where I would maybe mount it to the underside of the shelf by my sink. That would make sense to me. I don't want to mount, mount this to my mirror or on the inside of my cabinet. That doesn't make sense to me. But it does come with this. You got options. You got options just to take the box and sit it on your little table in the bathroom or sit it on the countertop or put it in the cabinet if you want to. Or if you want to be, you know, go the extra mile and mount it up on your mirror, you can do that too. Or mount it up under the cabinet, you can do that too. So I'm looking forward to many days of post deal or dud washing my face now that i can just wash and toss it away deal deal okay moving on we've already talked about my lipstick so i am wearing the lip bar tonight in crown me i included the lip bar in the carousel so if you'd like to click to look at their other colors they are just as brilliant. They are just as beautiful. I'm here for the lip bar, okay? On my eyes tonight, I am wearing colors from the Pure Festival Pressed Powder Eyeshadow. I did share this with you before. It comes in those brilliant colors like you see in the carousel. I forget which one. I think I have on Psychedelic, and then I have on... Um, I have to look at it. I don't know all the colors by heart. The little copper color. And then I put it on a little bit of purple tonight. I'm going to take my own picture. Look. I'm going to have to take it after the show. All right. So that is the P-U-R. Pure with the two dots over the U. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Festival Press Powder for your eyes. Just in case you're wondering what I'm gonna be putting on my skin. I am rocking my lashes tonight. I do this just for you. Invisible Boo Jack, you know, he don't care about lashes. So I do this just for you. This is the Vicelli Magic False Eyelashes. Five different lashes come in the pack along with your two uh, magic eyeliners. There is one that is black and there is one that is transparent. So if you don't like the look of the black eyeliner across the top of your eye, use the clear one. You take the little pen and draw it on your eye and then you take the lash and you just press it up there and boom. Now I'm not an expert on it. 
For me, it holds pretty well, but I'm just sitting in the house. I'm not out, you know, running up and down the street, chasing in the wind. When I was um, in Key West, I did not wear them there because won't nobody there to impress. And you ain't there, ain't nobody else to impress. Tennis shoes, ain't no need to buy a new dress. I know I said it out of order. It's okay. I know, I know she say tennis shoes and new dress first. Then she say you ain't there, ain't nobody else to impress. I ain't feel like doing all of this to be, mm -mm. And then you got a mask all on top of that. Uh, -uh it won't necessary. So these are the lashes. I am enjoying the lash experience. Okay, so that is all of the show that I have for you tonight. In my background, as I always share with you, there are the um, my pillow, the covering for the pillow. If you like the color, or if you would like another color, it comes in a wide variety of colors. Just pop your pillow on that side, go and throw it on the back of the chair. Put some color, add some color to your space. I am wearing my. Apple AirPods tonight to make sure that the sound quality that you receive is quality sound. Y'all know I'll be way back there, standing behind Boojang, beside Boojang, showing you my outfit, and I need to make sure that you hear me, okay? And of course, I have shared with you several times the Walker Edison Sophia ladder shelf, where my speaker and all of those goodies are. Y'all see the goalie gummies right there in the back? Y'all see them? Y'all see them right there? My goldie gummies, they stay there because I take those things faithfully, okay? And then, I don't know what was going on with my, my Harmon Cardone tonight. It didn't want to get together with the volume. I had to go manually adjust the volume tonight, but it generally doesn't do that. It's a really, really good Bluetooth speaker. Um, it connects with the Bluetooth well. You're able to port it around. It runs off of battery power, so you can charge it and, you know, take it wherever you're going to charge it. Great sound quality. Did y'all hear how loud the music was when I first started the show? It was, like, super loud. Can we, is it, is it volume? jams pump it up pump it up yeah pump it and then of course gotta share with you the goldie gummies i am using this to help manage my appetite curb my appetite and help me with my weight management until i get to my weight goal my health goal not just weight but my health goal y'all Look at the look at the reviews. One hundred and ninety-three thousand plus. One hundred and ninety-three thousand plus reviews on this particular product. I do recommend it. One of my favorite things. I'm waiting for them to get the blue one. Y'all see the blue one right over the top of this that one right there. Waiting for them to offer those so I can share those with you. They are so good, both of them. Okay? And then just in case you need some brushes for, to apply your makeup and all of that, these are the brushes that I use along with the other foundation brush that I've shared with you before. And just in case you're wondering, just in case you're wondering, in my outfit, I did recommend to you before about the Converse no-show socks. That is what I'm wearing. Let me show y'all my shoe up close because I forgot to do that tonight. I forgot to show y'all my shoe tonight. This is the Jan Adore. Um, tennis shoe. Let me go back to it right quick. All right. This is the Janador tennis shoe. Tennis Ardor. Jen Ardor. So the Converse style. The Converse uh, that. Y'all see, I, I just pulled them out the box today. Still got the sticker. I haven't been anywhere in them. Comes in a number of colors. It has a little bit of elastic right here to go around your ankle has the pull tab there a little bit of label there you know it, it's good for the style it's a deal for me and then the converse um low no show sock perfect for this kind of shoe you don't have to compromise your style with the great big old uncle socks y'all know the uncle socks when you go to the to the family reunion or the family get together and your uncle be there and he got on tennis shoes and he got on big old thick socks that come all the way halfway up his leg and then they be the black kind 
that he wear to church or the super thick kind that you be looking at him like what kind? Tube socks. The tube socks, the white thick ones, them black joints or the church socks and then he have on sandals. Be looking like Mr. Brown from um, Terry, Tyler Perry's uh, material and you be looking at him like Hey, hey, Uncle George. Hey. All right, you ain't got to do that. You don't have to look like that. All right? And then I'm, I am wearing the Anne Klein uh, hoops today to complement my outfit. Okay? So those are all of the items that I have for you tonight. I appreciate you watching another episode of Deal or Dud with me, Kimberly. Please uh, remember to follow if you're not already following and share the show if you don't mind doing that. I hope you saw something that you liked tonight and you enjoyed the show and hanging out with me. I'll see you next time right here on Deal or Dud.